internet. Whoa, hello, it's me, Chef Lethal, and I'm in a very tight spot right now. Coming at you with another episode on the DNS Tech Pack Let's Play episode 32, if my notes are correct. And they are. All right. So, guys, how are you all doing? I am doing fine indeed. Um, ha, I forgot you can do that. That's pretty funny. Let's go like that. That's our special jump block. So guys, it's been a couple days since I've been able to play. I have been incredibly busy uh, with travels and jumping. What the heck? Come on, man. Travels and just normal life type things where I just haven't really been able to play very much. And it breaks my heart. Now, if I sound different, it is not because I got a new microphone. I'm trying a different setting on this microphone because I talk kind of loud sometimes and the audio peak uh, can be a little extreme and we don't want that so we're just gonna see how this goes let me know what you think in the comments below if it's cool or if you liked it better the other way or whatever the case may be we are here in the nether I have a rough idea of what I want to do today and it's no more Batania for right now because no one has commented on any suggestions on what I can do with my current setup so I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit and talk to you guys about what I just found out four minutes ago maybe five minutes ago if I'm being extremely literal but I have a tesseract here and I just arbitrarily hooked this up uh, with my um, vibrant capacitor bank that I have back at the house Whatever direction that would be up I guess technically and uh, it it works now so check it out I've got 279.11 kilojoules because you remember before I'd log out and log back in and all my test tracks would stop working right right check this out so I'm gonna close the game I'm gonna tell you guys that I appreciate you hanging with me uh, this week coming up is going to be pretty Pretty awesome, I think, uh, in far as, as far as the content goes, especially later in the week. Thursday, uh, my wife leaves, and I'm pretty much home alone, uh, with the exception of work on Thursday and Friday. But uh, Saturday, I plan on doing two live streams, one in the morning for Pickle Pack, one in the afternoon for DNS. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But let's log back into the world that we currently are living. And wait. Wait for it. The suspense. The suspense is killing me. Okay, I didn't think it was going to take this long. Here we go. And Kapuya Kapuya 279.11 kilojoules. This thing is mining up like a boss. That's it's working. It's working. The the whole system is working again. So this is incredible. So what I'm going to do is grab this charged porter. We're going to go back home. And I'm going to switch out all of those crappy dimensional transceivers and put Tesseracts in their place. So I don't think I'm going to show that on camera because that's kind of boring. But the fact that I can do that now is pretty awesome. And I'm glad that I checked that out. So I'm going to get rid of this dimensional transceiver that's there. Get rid of some of this stuff here. Now the reason why I've got this stuff, I'm building a structure over there. I'm not going to tell you what it's for yet, but I think it's going to be kind of cool. I'm going to try something a little different and kind of start getting into some other mods that I don't really have any uh, or little experience with. Let's turn this back to cobblestone just for the sake of um, the video today. Eh, why, why, why? Just do like that. So while, uh, since the last time I recorded, I think, I created a bunch of drives. So I've got three full drives now. My goal is to get it all maxed out completely like overkill but I don't care <laughs> I've got the resources for it why not do it one thing I do want to do um, is right now we're gonna do the automated we're gonna do the wireless uh, wireless uh, ME system thing thingamajig wireless access point dealio I can't talk I haven't had I haven't had to do this in a week <laughs> I'm not in the mode so I need to make this wireless terminal but we also need to make the access point, which I don't actually see. There it is, ME access point. So first we need to make this, and I suspect this is going to go pretty smoothly. I've got a bajillion resources, so I need a calculation press. Um, so let's go like this. 
Uh, let's just go ahead and make 10 just for the heck of it. And for the time being, I think what I want to do is have these two separate. Right? So I can have this queued in on wireless and have this on whatever I need it to be. So that should be done. And then I need this. So what do I have there? I need um, this Fluix Pearl, which I should be able to do. And then if I go like that, did I not just make the freaking Fluix? Oh, I need to do this wireless receiver, which then I know that's all done. ME access point. Oh, it's so great when it goes so easy. And then the wireless terminal, a little bit more work. So I'm going to need another Fluix Pearl. So I need more Fluix Dust. Um, let's just do like that. And hopefully that won't take too long. I just need two. There we go. Nice and easy. Uh, nope, not that. I need this. So we need one more of these. Nice and simple. And then we... Okay, so we need the other two components as well. We need the terminal. Oh, so close. So we need a logic processor and an annihilation core. So we need a logic and an annihilation core. And cool. So that's going to use those. Yeah, that should be fairly simple. Fairly. We can check the status. I guess eventually I could get crafting monitors down here. To show the progress of what's popping down in this region. Those will almost be done. Yep, that just finished. So we got clamping action going on over there. I think I have acceleration cards over here as well. I do. They have they have one. I could I could upgrade that, but I'm not going to do it at the moment. Why would I do such a thing? So here we're going for this thing, which I should be able to do. And then I just need this, which is another calculation press. With eight energy cells, can I just do this one, two, three, four? Oh man, three. What's in the middle there? So I need five calculations. I have them. Or was it engineering? Shouldn't have been engineering. Oh, I need the quartz glass. Duh. <laughs> quartz glass. So if we just go like that, that'll make 32 eventually. I don't even know if I have any regular glass available or if it has to get smelt or renoed. Uh, let's check. Glass. I got a little bit. I got a very tiny amount. <laughs> Quartz glass. So I have three, right? So I need four, five, six. Dang it, man. More fluix. Dust. That I need. Let's go like that. And it's going to have to make more fluix in order to do such a thing. And what is that thing called? The energy cell. Oops. Nope. Okay, so I've got five, six, seven, and eight. And then we go like that. And then we go like that. Awesome. So that was super duper easy, but now what we have to do is make, as far as I know, 16 is still the, oh really? Is 16 still the max for this? Do I really need to grind up ender powder? I do. I absolutely do. I have 13, you stupid thing. Oh, does it not, is that not orb dictionary or whatever? That's stupid. Can I throw you in the sag mill? Yes. Good, and it gives me the right thing. Thank you. Um, the last time I know you could only put... Oh no, you could put 16 in there. That's right. So there's 16. And that goes... Uh, you need the security thing as well, right? Oops. <laughs> I'm not used to having it separate. So security terminal. Yeah, pretty sure we need this. Wow, that's kind of expensive, don't you think? 
Uh, so we need more glass cable. Let's just make like that. You can always use it. It's always going to be in in need. I need the 16k thing. That should be relatively easy. And then I need an engineering processor. <laughs> oh man. And I need an ME chest. Can I do that yet? No. What do I need for that? I need another ME terminal. Which means I need... That one's the formation core. Oh my goodness. It's easy, but I, I still need to make a lot of the steps. So the formation core. So once that... That'll be that. And then... I think I'm going to need Fluix as well. Yeah, I'm going to need Fluix. Let's just go ahead and go like that. I bet you I have most of my, my guys working right now, don't I? That's working on crafting stuff. That one's empty. I'm lagging. That's empty. That's empty. Oh, things are finishing very quickly. <laughs> Did not anticipate that happening. It's good news, though. Very good news. So can I make this? No, I'm missing a logic processor. Why... Why you know logic? Where you at logic? Everything's done. Uh, okay. Doesn't look done to me, man. Does not look good. Or, oh, whoops! Oh, dang it. That's okay. I meant I meant for any eye to disappear. That's all. So as soon as I see the first one show up, which should be right about now. There we go. That was just a few seconds off. Emmy terminal. There. Emmy chest. Perfect. Security terminal. Extra perfect. So I'm just going to place this guy back here. That should be good. And then if we throw that in there, it is linked. So now... And does that go in here? No. So, oh, I need the access point. Where do I want to put the access point is a good question. What if we put it? Can we put it right here? No. Can we put it? I mean, ideally, I'd like it to be hidden. There. That should work. Device online. And then... It's using 80 off per tick. It goes to 80 meters. And... Yes. So now I can be up here and be like, Oh, I need that thing. Boom. Nice. That's amazing. Oh, it's amazing every time. It never gets old to me. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. So that is a... Uh, that's a huge thing. I've been wanting to do that for such a long time, dude. Such a long time. How are we doing in the ingot aisle? What do we have? We've got a little bit of endearium. We've got a little bit of silver. i tell you what. I need to start pushing through some different... Um, some different things. So we've got a lot of yellorium. We've got a lot of copper. We've got a lot of iron, osmium... Even gold is decent. But if I look at my crystals situation, um, I don't have any, like, silver ore. I don't think I have any silver ore being processed presently. So, I'm going to do that. How are we looking in osmium? I've got 4,000 osmium. So here's what we're going to do. Hold your ears, because we're going into the mechanism ca cavern. <laughs> Yeah, okay. And let's take this and I would like to remove that and put Oh dear. Oh dear. Can we round robin this? I know I can force it and go like that. There we go. And then throw that back in there. 
And then as I get, I'm, I'm currently experiencing a bit of a shortage uh, on gases. I need to expand this, which is a crazy thought that I'm not very excited about. But this does need to be expanded quite a bit. Um, I'm, I'm constantly running out. Like sulfur seems to be my my limiting factor at this point. And I think there's a way you can make it. So I might do that, uh, maybe not today, because I think, if I remember correctly, dang it, I'm not used to this. Okay, hold on. Let me turn this back on to synchronized, because if we look at gunpowder, power, gunpowder, I've got 18,000 gunpowder, and I believe that we can convert that using yeah if I ex oh I can just use the extractor so I can use the crusher to get it into nitor I didn't know that nitor no nitor is thumb thumbcraft nitor is thermal expansion so I can chemical injection it with hydrogen chloride which I'm not even producing enough brine as it is do I have any salt? I've got some salt. I mean, I could use that. What was the machine that I needed to use it for? Really, though? I could just... Um, hold on. I just forgot. Oops. I keep wanting to put in power. Um, no, so if we use this... In the chemical injection chamber with salt can you use salt or hydrogen chloride I mean I'm gonna give this a shot um, let me look up the chemical injection chamber. I don't want the factory I just need the one pearl injector what Interesting. Okay, I don't know what that means. Chemical injection chamber. Okay, that's pretty simple. I need two of these guys. Okay, that's easy. And then I need a purification chamber. I need an enrichment chamber. Oh, I need steel casing. But I have a recipe for it. So that should go pretty quickly. Should go pretty quickly. There we go. Enrichment chamber. And don't do that. Let's look up injection. There. Nope. I need to make the enrichment chamber now. I made the enrichment chamber. Hold on. Enrich. Sometimes it doesn't it doesn't pop in there, which is super annoying. I have to say, but keeps you on your toes, keeps you on your dang toes. And like there, I didn't put the purification chamber in there. Again, very annoying, but oh, I had a freaking purification chamber already. Chemical injection. So let's grab now the salt and the gunpowder, because if this will work, I mean, I'll at least eat through this 2,000 salt I have. Uh, let's... Um, uh, where do I want to put this? Will this accept power from the side? Yeah. Oh, dude. Hold on. Did it just use an entire stack? Oh my gosh. It just used an entire stack of salt for that? It didn't even do one? What if we get... Do I have any extra gas upgrades? I do. Oh my gosh. Let's let this load in. Because that's that's no longer worth it. Like, that yield is no bueno. That's very bad. <laughs> I had not planned on trying this today, but, you know, you get sidetracked doing this stuff. All right. For one sulfur. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm already here, so I might as well just 
I cannot believe this. This is this is Lin Sanity. Meow have gotta be kidding me. All that for eight freaking sulfur no. No 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 no. So we have to find a better way to get sulfur. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I have Blazeman chilling. Oh, I can't wait to get all these guys fixed. Do I have I have Blazeman on? I don't know why he's not dying. This thing's completely filled. I need you to die, homie. It's a very morbid thing to say. Die! They should be dropping sulfur. Like, for realsies. One thing I do wish is you could put, like, fortune and stuff on the MFR machines. That would be probably a little overpowered. You know, probably a little, a little bit overpowered. But I'd use it. Heck yeah, I'd use it. Are you kidding me? Use that thing for days. I did not mean to break that machine. I meant to break that machine, but my system lagged on me. Thanks, computer. Thanks for being great. Darn it. I've got some upgrades coming. i got a fan coming. Probably by the time you guys see this video, I'll have gotten my fan. Probably not installed it. And i got a new PSU coming as well. So that should be pretty helpful. And then once budget allows... I will probably upgrade the graphics card and RAM very shortly. So what can we do with Rotten Flesh? I'm just curious because I've got so much of it. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot all about the Twilight Forest. Oh, we can smelt it in the Magma Crucible down to blood. Botanical Vanity's Emptiness. I wonder if Botanical Brewery would be a thing that I might want to get into soon. Um, also, I do want to kind of wind the episode down a little bit here. Because we are kind of just goofing off right now. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things here. Um, how are we looking in this department? This is emptying quickly. So let's turn on the turbine. And we will turn this on as well. So let's get that going. That should be producing some power for us. Yeah. And then we'll be good to go here. Yeah, dude. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited about the test track. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wind the episode down. You know, eventually I'm going to have four freaking turbines in here. And this place is going to be freaking amazing, sweet, awesome, and wonderful. But until that time, we uh, have to deal with the things that we have currently. But I am going to wind this episode down. I love this clear glass. You couldn't even tell it's there. It's amazing. But uh, yeah, I'm going to wind the episode down. I have trees to cut down. I've got um, other things to do. I'm going to, in my off time, hopefully... Oh yeah, how are we doing in mana? How are we doing? How are we doing? All these guys are almost full. That's incredible. Amazing. But yeah, I'm going to probably go ahead and, and upgrade all of my my tra transceivers to tesseracts and in the in the um in the interest of full disclosure i'm going to spawn in um some tesseracts for the amount of offset that i have between tesseracts and transceivers because if you remember i spawned in transceivers for the amount of tesseracts that i had and then since then i have been um crafting the transceivers legitimately which has been miserable but yeah if i can make tesseracts i can get a craft going for it and have it completely hands off all i do have to do is hit a button and that will be extremely cool also i need to work on the lighting situation in here <laughs> like it's so bright outside that I'm, I'm i'm seeing that i'm very dark um so that's actually probably a good thing never mind you don't need to see what's going on in this department <laughs> but anyway everybody i am going to call it quits for this episode i think we did some pretty cool stuff we got the the wireless terminal uh fixed up a little bit of our our system down here yeah the wireless terminal thing's gonna help out a bit what are you doing oh uh just some some automated things and stuff that's cool so yeah that's gonna be it uh keep your calendars locked follow me on twitter uh chef Lidl 
Oh, wow. Chef Lethal Plays there on Twitter. Uh, if you are interested in watching any live stream action, I will be posting on Twitter for certain when I will be able to stream and do this stuff uh, like that. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.